Pow. Kerplop. Wow. We're back again. The Uncanny Comic League. I'm Ryan. And then finally, we are doing another comic book haul. What's going on, guys? Jason here again. Yeah, it's been a bit of time, but uh, I don't. I, I really want to get into it. So yeah, let's, let's just... do it. Perfect timing for Halloween. <laughs> Spooky. All right, so... Probably haven't seen Red Lanterns before. Not since... I don't think we've ever had a Red Lantern no, I, on there. Well, we had the one with Blees in the blood. Blees. But yeah, it's the uh, Rise of the Third Army, so uh, I've decided to pay attention to this one. This is a good book. Yeah, it was a great issue. It was with a... Uh, they like wrapping their, their skin around the people's faces and suffocating them, right? Yeah, the, the villains Seems are definitely the kind of terrified. They're like super space zombies. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Trying to... Yeah. Some lantern space zombie things. But this has been good, so I have the other times, and you'll still see the other times in there at some point, too. Yeah, for sure. So... Finally coming back and dun 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 Deadpool 63. It is the final Deadpool in Daniel Way's run. Number 63 <laughs> and uh, they'll be continuing with Deadpool number one in Marvel now. So that is it. Yeah, brand, brand new title. We yeah. got one, pick up the other. I'm looking forward because I'm going to start reading some Deadpool. Hint, hint. The yeah. cover does mean something, folks. He looks like he's knocked out. It could mean that, or it could, could be, mean other could things. Be, You'd have dead? to buy it to find dun, out. Dun, dun. Go grow. Batman: The Dark Knight yes. continues on. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm loving everything that's going on. It's like we said before. What? I don't think there's been a fight scene. In like no, yeah, issues. and again, there's no action in it, but, but it's still good. Yeah, a lot of mind game work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's well, the Scarecrow? So like the arts trippy and. And terrorizing that other little kid. Yeah. I'm not sure if I remember who that kid is, but oh, it just, works, it just works some in the poor, story. Some poor damn kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it works in the story, trust me. Yeah, and you get to see why Scarecrow is uh, so messed up. Mm-hmm. Look at his yeah. past. It's continuing, too. I don't think it's that runs over yet. Nope. And putting down Batman Incorporated, number four, Wingman and Redbird. And it's not who you think they are. So it's a uh, set up um, without giving away too much. It's part of the Leviathan run and people got to disguise themselves as other things so they can get the job done. And there's a very interesting end at the end of this one involving Damien and Batman. And uh, I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen with that. Yeah, so I know you haven't read that one, Jay, but... No, so I don't have anything to say about it yet, but uh, yeah, Incorporated's been good so far. At least, yeah. At least. Ultimates number 17. Excellent story arc. Mm -hmm. This is the they're trying to retake America basically because they all broke up into the different factions and militia groups. Mm -hmm. um, although this does have the yeah, lamest say, moment. Say something, yeah, yeah. The lamest moment so far in the Ultimate series. It's on par with uh, if you read the original Ultimates by Millar <laughs> where he where he points at it at his face and says you think this A stands for France when they ask him to surrender. It's that type of corny. Yeah. But uh, I'll, so let, we, I'll let you guys read it. Should we, should we not going to tell them what it is? Yeah, well, I think we should tell them what it is. All it's right. kind of funny. Yeah, they're on the battlefield yeah. and all, all hope is lost. And then they're like, look, look. up in the sky. And it's Captain it's America, America on a hover bike. Yeah, with the flag. <laughs> with the flag, just flying through the war zone. Carrying it. Just yeah. not paying attention to what's going on. It was, it was it was cheesy, yeah. but we had to tell you because it was real cheesy. And here is one that I absolutely love. Justice League Dark number 13. I love this story. They are going head to head. They've met up with Nick. Nick, who you know if you've read the Zeros from the past. He trained Zatanna and John Constantine. And he is back and he is upset. <laughs> he's not too pleased at all. No, he's not. He's Things are hitting the fan. Um, yeah, Good book, though. Dark. Awesome. Yeah, you should read it. If you're not, you really, really should. Yeah, especially this latest arc. Um, what do we got next here? Another another first yeah. on, on the hall video is Frankenstein. Agent of Shade. Shade. Uh, they tie into Rot World, which yeah. uh, which I'm I got Animal and Swamp well, thing. This for has that. been good. I like all the stories in the Rot World. I'm really digging that story arc right now. However, this is ending. So some quick news fact for you. Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, is no longer the Agent of Shade. After 16, this book will be done, and he will be joining the Justice League Dark Team. Yeah, you heard it here. Yeah. On so if you Uncanny don't know Comedy. who he is yet, you will. Yes. You will. So look out. So I guess just put down that one here, and we'll save this last one. 
Revival from we Image. We both got this one. Yeah. I mean, we had nothing but good things to say about it. You know, it's still been good. I'm, I'm still satisfied by it, yeah. and I'm looking forward to number five. It's interesting, uh, unconventional, I yeah, would call it. Yeah, I got it on the bed. Eh? Yeah. That was kind of gross. It's a, it's a really weird take on the kind of pseudo-zombie story. I'm not sure who the guy was who caught the cop and had it tied up to that thing either. No. No, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot of mysteries really... still down. It's just, it's just ramping up. Yeah, it really is. So, the last comic of the Hall week, dun, dun, dun. of the return of the Uncanny Comic League, comic book hall, talent number one, from the pages of Batman, Night of the Owls. It is the opening story. They was a zero, we understand that, but this is where we understand how it becomes the talent. So, it's, uh... Origin story, I'd say it's worth having a look at. I mean, Scott Snyder's involved. So, enough said. I, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely definitely reading the second issue. It was a good setup. It laid yeah. the groundwork. Didn't waste too much time. Yeah, he was and, chased uh, down by a female Night of the Owl, and she was yeah. looking to whoop that. And if you like the, the Court of Owls at all, and you, were, you found them interesting, and you want to have, like, I uh, guess, a deeper insight as to the group and how they function and their history, I think... This is going to be the book that does that. That's that's how it, how it's being implied. It looks like so far. Well, that'll be it for the return of the comic book hall. I'm Ryan. I'm Jason. We'll see you next time. Yep. Yeah.